Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to create a new profile for Outlook, specifically using an Office 365 account. After you've created the new profile, you'll be able to import all of your data from your old account. So to get started, you want to make sure that you have your Outlook desktop program closed, otherwise you won't be able to create the new profile. First thing you're going to do is click your Start menu, and then click Control Panel. Now Control Panel is going to be in the Category view by default, but the option that you need is not available in this view, so to change it, you're going to click on the drop-down menu next to View By, and select either large or small icons depending on your preference. After you've changed the view, the option that you're looking for is Mail, and it might not say 32-bit after it, that's okay. Just click on Mail, and then click Show Profiles. There will probably only be one profile listed here. If there are more than one, it's nothing to worry about. Uh, we're going to be showing you how to make sure Outlook is only using the profile you just created. So to get started creating the new profile, you click Add, give your profile a name, and click OK. Then you have to enter in your information. And click Next. Now it's going to try and find our account on the Office 365 servers. It may ask you to enter your password again. If it does, just remember to click the Remember My Credentials option so that you won't have to enter your password all the time. Alright, it has successfully found my account and logged on. So you just have to click Finish. To make sure that Outlook is using the new profile we just created. You want to make sure you have always used this profile selected. Click on that drop down and select the profile you just created. Then click apply and OK. You don't need the control panel anymore so you can close that. And then you're going to open Outlook up and it will load right into that new profile and all of your Office 365 mail and calendar items and contacts will be brought down from the servers. All right, and that is how you create a new profile for Outlook. To learn how to import your data from your old account into Outlook, you're going to want to watch our video on importing PST files.